Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you didn't think that the Tokyo 2020 Olympics already had enough issues to deal with, like being delayed a whole year, and that Tokyo and Okinawa have been put into a state of emergency just a couple weeks out from the Olympics starting, athletes have already been testing COVID positive in the athletes' village, which has caused athletes to pull out of the games before they're even started. Well, what is this latest development? Well, athletes are now gonna have to sleep on cardboard beds to avoid sex. How did this come about? And let's take a look at it. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this one out and let's take a look. All right, so on the New York Post, this says, athletes to sleep in, quote, anti-sex cardboard beds at Olympic Games amid COVID. All right, so let's take a look at what it says. Last full Olympic athletes should think twice before making the bedrock in Tokyo. The world's best sports competitors are set to spend their nights on cardboard beds allegedly designed to collapse under the weight of fornicators to discourage sex amid COVID-19. Okay. Olympic officials who already warned 2021 games participants to avoid two-person push-ups because of coronavirus have set up 18,000 of the cardboard beds in the notoriously sex-crazed athletes' village, according to Dezine magazine. Okay, so let's take a look at the beds. So it says, Airweave creates cardboard beds and modular mattresses for Tokyo 2020 Olympics. And this is them here. Yep, made out of recycled cardboard, it says. So let's take a look at what Airweave, the manufacturers of this cardboard bed, have to say about why they were put in place in Tokyo. So it says the concept was to make a lightweight, easy to assemble mattress and meet the game's sustainability plan. That's what Airweave told Dezine, who wrote this article. Now let's take a look at what one of the athletes actually had to say. Beds to be installed in Tokyo Olympic Village will be made of cardboard. This is aimed at avoiding intimacy among athletes. American distance runner Paul Shalimo tweeted. Let's take a look at that one. This is his tweet here. Paul Shalimo, yep. 2016 five kilometer silver medalist, 2017 bronze medalist, sponsored by Nike Endurance. So it says, yeah, beds to be installed in Tokyo Olympic Village will be made of cardboard. This is aimed at avoiding intimacy among athletes. So you've got Airweave, the manufacturer saying it's for sustainability and what Tokyo wanted for the games. And they're gonna be recycled after they're, they're used in the Olympics for the Paralympics and for other uses after that. But this athlete, is saying that it's to avoid intimacy among athletes. And it says beds will be able to withstand the weight of a single person to avoid situations beyond sports. And he says, I see no problem for distance runners. Even four of us can do it because distance runners are notorious for like having really low weight because of how far they have to run. They can't have much weight on, so they they don't weigh a lot. So you could definitely probably fit more than one person on this. So he's done a before and after. Shirt, so there it is, and then the cardboard box scrunched up. Moving from Breaking Bad to Breaking Bed, yeah. All right, so that was what the athlete had to say about it, even though we saw what the company said. Here's another image of what the bed actually looks like. A couple of people taking photos of it. A few years back, there was like some controversy about how many athletes were actually having sex in the Olympic Village. So what they were gonna do in Tokyo, so this was back end of June, so what they said was they were gonna distribute condoms in the Olympic Village, but they were gonna ask the athletes not to use them in Japan. Now this was before the the, uh, the state of emergency and these new beds were announced, I guess. So they say they would distribute condoms to athletes staying at the Olympic Village during next month's games, which is next week, but are warning athletes not to use them until they return home. So the Olympic Village full of young athletes from around the world visiting a new city for a short time often earns a tawdry reputation for the level of promiscuity among its residents. So this is what Hope Solo said when they asked her about it. She said, quote, there's a lot of sex going on. And she estimated there was about 70 to 75% of Olympians were having sex at the games. That's Hope Solo. So Hope Solo said that back in her 2012 ESPN magazine story. And then this is what they said today about handing out the condoms. So our intent and goal is not for the athletes to use them at the village, but to help with awareness by taking them back to their own countries. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. So let's just give them a bunch of condoms to hand around and take them back to their countries as what, souvenirs? Who who does that? Who hands out condoms for souvenirs? No, you know what they gave them to them for. And now you, you're giving them sustainable beds made of cardboard, but you've got athletes saying they're so people don't get intimate. The, the amount of issues we're already having with this Olympics you got two athletes have already tested positive at the village, even though they're getting tested, I think, like every single day. And then you've got 19 Australians have to get around how, this scare because you got 11,000 athletes going to be in the village and you have a few tested positive. I wrote an article uh, last week on Geeks and Gamers, go check that out, about the state of emergency being uh, employed and the amount of money in broadcasting dollars 
that the Olympics could lose if they don't broadcast it. And it says it gets almost 75% of its income from selling broadcast rights and estimates suggest it would lose three to $4 billion if the Olympics were canceled. So you know why they're still trying to push to get it on. So the amount of issues we're having with the Olympics, we're just under a week away now, is astounding. We've got a state of emergency for Tokyo. No no people in it, no crowds in attendance allowed at the games. We've got athletes testing positive and pulling out of the games. And now we have a sustainable bed, which is made of cardboard, which is actually what's quoted by one of the athletes saying, it's to stop athletes being intimate. We know why it's still going ahead because the amount of money they will lose is billions of dollars. But I think it shouldn't be going ahead and we'll just pull the plug on this one because the, the amount of issues is ridiculous. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this one out and I'll see you in the next one.